Welcome to my channel, RX Sam 2020. Today we discuss a vaccine named tetanus toxoid. About About vaccines are available that help prevent tetanus, an infection caused by Clostridium tetani bacteria. Four kinds of vaccines are used to help protect against tetanus, all of which also provide protection against other diseases. Diphtheria and Tetanus DT, vaccines. Diphtheria, tetanus and pertussis DTAP, vaccines. Tetanus and diphtheria TD, vaccines. Tetanus, diphtheria and pertussis TDAP, vaccines. Babies and children younger than 7 years old receive DTAP or DT, while older children and adults receive TDAP and TD. Medical Use For preventing tetanus, also known as lockjaw, in wound management. For immunization of infants, children, and adults of all ages for the people at greater risk at work for example gardeners, athletes, farmers, laboratory staff, etc. For women of childbearing age and pregnant women to prevent neonatal tetanus. What is? Tetanus, also known as lockjaw, is a bacterial infection caused by Clostridium tetani and is characterized by muscle spasms. In the most common type, the spasms begin in the jaw and then progress to the rest of the body. Each spasm usually lasts a few minutes. Spasms occur frequently for 3 to 4 weeks. Some spasms may be severe enough to fracture bones. Other symptoms of tetanus may include fever, sweating, headache, trouble swallowing, high blood pressure and a fast heart rate. The onset of symptoms is typically 3 to 21 days following infection. Recovery may take months. About 10% of cases prove to be fatal. Clostridium tetani is a common soil bacterium and the causative agent of tetanus. Vegetative cells of Clostridium tetani are usually rod-shaped and up to 2.5 micrometers long but they become enlarged and tennis racket or drumstick shaped when forming spores. Clostridium tetani spores are extremely hardy and can be found globally in soil or in the gastrointestinal tract of animals. If inoculated into a wound, Clostridium tetani can grow and produce a potent toxin, tetanospasmin, which interferes with motor neurons, causing tetanus. Contraindications Hypersensitivity Neurological disorders following previous vaccination Special precautions Patients with coagulation or bleeding disorders, for example thrombocytopenia. Gallenbari syndrome, within 6 weeks prior to receiving vaccination, immunodeficiency, for example HIV. Patients with complete primary vaccination or a booster dose in the previous 5 years. Postpone vaccination in patients with acute febrile illness. Monitoring parameters. Monitor for syncope. Hypersensitivity reactions 15 minutes after administration. Drug interactions. Following drugs may decrease the therapeutic benefits of the tetanus toxoid vaccine. Fingolimod, Bilimumab, Ankingra, Adalimumab, Infliximab and Anti-Cancer Medications. Side Effects Mild Fever, Joint Pain, Muscle Aches, Nausea, Tiredness, General ill feeling, lightheadedness, or injection site reactions, pain, itching, swelling, tenderness, redness, or a lump. Dose During childhood, five doses are recommended, with a sixth given during adolescence. After three doses, 
Almost everyone is initially immune, but additional doses every 10 years are recommended to maintain immunity. A booster shot should be given within 48 hours of an injury to people whose immunization is out of date. For people with high-risk injuries who are not fully immunized, tetanus antitoxin may also be recommended. Confirming that pregnant women are up to date on tetanus immunization during each pregnancy can prevent both maternal and neonatal tetanus. The vaccine is very safe, including during pregnancy and in those with HIV AIDS. Intramuscular Active Immunization Against Tetanus Adult 3 or 4 doses of 0.5 ml each, with dosing intervals depending on the product used. Booster dose, 0.5 ml every 10 years. Prophylaxis of tetanus in wound management. Adult non-immunized patients, or if greater than 5 to 10 years since last booster dose, one emergency dose of 0.5 ml depending on the type of wound. Patients with minor, clean wounds who have been vaccinated within the last 5 to 10 years may not need an emergency booster dose. For pregnant women, the immunization should be done by injecting two doses of tetanus toxoid, adsorbed, starting in the 7th month with an interval of 4 weeks. If the immunization status is not known then three doses of tetanus toxoid adsorbed should be given starting on the sixth month within an interval of four weeks between each injection. Mechanism of Action Tetanus toxin prevents the release of inhibitory neurotransmitters, particularly glycin, from neurons in the central nervous system which results in uncontrolled muscular contractions.